Hello everyone, this is Tom Denlinger with Sardonyx and uh, just coming to you again tomorrow. We're going to be uh, recording two more songs for our new album and I want to share something from God's Word with you and just ask you again to pray for us uh, as we record these songs. Uh, you know, the children of Israel always were running from God and David writes in Psalm 81, verse 13, he says, Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn their hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord would pretend submission to him, but their fate would endure forever. You know, I want to be really dead honest with you and tell you something. Um, I am not called to be a metal musician. I am a metal musician, but it is not my desire to be, you know, Joe Metal who follows all the latest bands and everything. I believe metal, especially power metal, is the most incredible tool to teach the Bible. And I believe that God uh, has a message for that culture. But I will honestly tell you that I am very, very turned off by some of the things that I hear in the metal world. You know, we wrote a, a song called Sons of the Kingdom that you're going to hear. It's the title track of our new CD. And in Philippians chapter 3, it talks about the enemies of the cross. And, you know, the lyric of the song says, the enemies of the cross set their minds on earthly things. I am a, a, a Bible teacher. I strive to be a man of God, um, and I, I desire to use music as a way to teach the Bible. And I'm going to be unapologetic and just tell you that um, this new album is going to uh, not be for everyone. Uh, this next album, Sons of the Kingdom, is written specifically for a Christian audience because my goal is to stir up that spirit of revival, that we would just come back to the Lord and believe Him. Like it says in, in Psalm 81, 13, oh, that my people would return to me. That's His heart, brothers and sisters. That's His heart. He wants us to return to Him. And that is the heart of this next album. Uh, like I said before, uh, you will be pleased with the music. Um, the music is cutting edge. It is better than Majestic Serenity, Rebel Reason, Linear Progression. I, I am so pleased with the sounds that Rod Feltman's getting with his guitar, and it just rips your face off. <laughs> and I'm just thankful that the Lord's given me a strong voice still at my age that I can just passionately proclaim God's truth. But it's going to push the audience to think. So, first of all, please pray for us. But secondly, um, could you email me and just tell me what God's doing in your life? In fact, I would love to talk to some of you and just to hear, like, what are the things, like, you know, people say sometimes at the church, uh, scratches itches that nobody has and I, I understand that I get that you know um, th there are some in the audience in this Christian metal audience that have deep questions that are not answered deep struggles that you have that nobody has really fully given you a good answer I'd love to hear from you and just hear from your heart because Quite frankly, God has called me to be a pastor, to speak into you, and to encourage you with God's Word. And we do that through music. So, this email address is my email address. It comes to my computer. And if you want to talk to Rod Feldman, our guitarist, or our, our bass player, Chuck Turner, I'd be happy to forward the questions to them. But, I just want you to know that we're here for you. And this album is going to be 
different than a lot of the stuff that you're hearing because it's not about trying to get secular airplay it's not about you know trying to impress people and you know try to dumb down Jesus so that they might accept him now he is the most high God and there is no other there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved and we are simply lifting his name up we are we are worshiping we have two worship songs on this new album that will encourage you so much just driving guitars but just just lifting praise to him with everything that's in you so please pray for us and contact us and tell us what God's doing in your life